Hello friends, today we will discuss about some important principles of heat treatment like time temperature transformation which is also very commonly known as TTT plots and we will also see what are CCT plots or continuous cooling transformation. So let us start. Before we start, let us see what is heat treatment exactly, what is the definition of heat treatment. So heat treatment is nothing but you are heating the material to a certain temperature with a certain rate and you are holding that material or soaking that material at that particular temperature then you are cooling the material with a different different cooling cycle as desired to obtain different conditions or different property. So you may be doing a heat treatment to relieve the internal stress in some material or you may be doing the heat treatment to change certain properties of the material. So heat treatment will help you to achieve these desired results. TTT plots are also known as time temperature transformations or they are also known as isothermal transformations. Now what are these? Let us see. So here a TTT plot of eutectoid composition is shown. Anytime remember that a TTT plot which is drawn is for a particular composition so we should not get confused in that it is for a very specific particular composition here the diagram which we are looking at is the ttt plot of the eutectoid composition and in an earlier video i have shown what is a eutectoid composition the eutectoid composition is generally around 0.76 sometimes in some books they say it is around 0.8 but you know 0.76 or 0.8 we know that it is a eutectoid composition and this plot represents the eutectoid composition and the TTT plots at the eutectoid composition. Here on the x-axis you see time and on the y-axis you see temperature and it will show the transformations which are happening. So you see two lines which are there, two solid lines. The red line will show you the start of the transformation. In between you see a dashed line. That dashed line is nothing but it will show the 50% transformation and here when you see this diagram it is nothing but when you draw the cooling curve on this diagram you exactly know what transformation will happen at what time and if you put certain cooling rates what will be the final phase or the structure which you will achieve in the material how these TTT curves were generated so that might be a question in your mind so TTT plots are generated from the S curves or the S plots. So these plots are generated from the percent transformation which is happening versus the time taken over the range of temperature. You keep these material at a particular temperature then over a period of time they will transform into the different phase. So what is the starting time of transformation and what is the end time of the transformation. And you take both these time and then you draw a vertical line and at that particular temperature you know what is the start point or the end point. Similarly now you change the temperature. You raise the temperature or you lower the temperature and again you see what is the start time and what is the end time of the transformation. Like that you keep on repeating this particular exercise at different different temperature and at different temperature you come to know what is the start time of the transformation and what is the end time of the transformation and basically when you join all these points you will get a smooth curve and that curve will represent the start and the end point of the transformation at different different temperature and basically you get a TTT plot after doing this exercise. In this image you see an S shaped curve for the temperature or isothermal temperature of 675 degrees Celsius and at that particular temperature what is the starting time of the transformation and what is the end time of the transformation we get to know that then we draw a vertical line and then that is represented on the actual TTT plot. Like that we go on repeating 674, 673, 672 and then we see what is the starting of the transformation, start time of the transformation, end time of the transformation and you also go on repeating at the higher temperature 676, 677 and so on and then at one particular point it will just be like a plateau so we know that the transformation is very slow there so you have to lower the temperature and see what is the start and the end transformation and then you will get a smooth curve which you have to join and then you get the TTT plot. In this TTT plot you see a eutectoid temperature that is around 727 degrees Celsius 
above that you take toy temperature the entire phase is austenite okay so below that there will be a phase change but above that if you are above 727 there is no phase change the entire phase is austenite and specifically we are talking about utec toid composition so if you go and have a look at the iron carbon phase diagram above utec toid point exactly above utec toid point you have austenite and here at the ttt plot again above 727 the entire phase is austenite only when you lower the temperature below 727 you get a different phase that phase is nothing but perlite phase so the austenite to perlite transformation will happen only below 727 degrees celsius in an iron carbon phase diagram at utec toid composition in the ttt plot to the left side of the red line which is the starting point of the transformation the entire phase is austenite and as you touch the red line the transformation of austenite to perlite begins and as it crosses the blue line the entire phase is now perlite if you look at the TTT plot just below the UTEC toy temperature, if you keep the material at that temperature for a very long time, the transformation is very slow. So you will get perlite after a very long time because it is just below the UTEC toy temperature and it will take like around 10 to 5 seconds to reach the perlite and complete perlite you will get after that long time. The transformation rate increases and decreases with respect to the temperature. So at around 540 degrees Celsius, only 3 seconds is required for the reaction to go to 50% completion. That means when you are at 540 degrees Celsius, you lower the temperature to 540 and just in 3 seconds if you are there, around 50% of the transformation is complete. So that is why these TTT plots are very important. They will tell you what cooling rate will give us what phase, okay, at what temperature. So we can easily know that if you cool the material very fast, we get certain phase, we get certain phase. If we cool the material very slow, we get certain phase. That is the importance of TTT plot. There are several constraints when we are using a TTT plot. Let us see what are those. First and foremost, as I have already told you, this TTT plot is only for the UTEC toid composition of Fe3C ion carbon diagram and ion carbon phase diagram. This plot is only valid for that and that too for that particular composition of 0.8 or 0.76 whatever you have for the UTEC toid composition and it will vary. The curves will change drastically as you go on changing the composition it will change for different different alloy phase diagram. One more very important point to remember is that these plots are valid when you are cooling the material at a constant temperature that is very valid point which we have to take into consideration that these plots are valid only when we are considering the material we are cooling at the same temperature but in actuality that does not happen we cannot cool a material at the same temperature when we are doing heat treatment we are cooling the material so the temperature is also coming down and the phase is also changing and during that time TTD plot uh, is not of great use, we have to take into consideration one more diagram which is called as CCT diagram which is the continuous cooling transformation. Continuous cooling transformation will tell us that when the material is continuously cooling, what is the start time and what is the end time. So it is actually a practical diagram. It is very practical for us to use and all the transformation will now slightly shift to the right of the TTD plot that is the only change that the transformation will slightly shift to the right of the ttt plot rest all will be the same this is the practical plot which we use generally because it will give us exactly the temperature and the time where we have to cool to get what particular phase let us look at one example where we are imposing a heat treatment curve on the ttt plot so here when we are starting the material to cool, we are around 727 degrees Celsius, the phase is completely austenite. Then we are cooling the material to a certain temperature. We are cooling the material to just above 600 degrees Celsius. In about 3.5 seconds, the, the reaction will start. The material will start to have a change of phase and at around 15 seconds, the material will completely transform into perlite. That is the importance of the TTT curve. So we exactly know how much we should cool, where we should cool, what should be the temperature 
and after how many seconds we will get what particular phase that is the importance practical use of ttd plot and we exactly know what phase we will be getting because why we are interested in these different phases because each and every phase will have their own property associated with them when we have a bainite structure a martensite structure or a pearlitic structure all these are associated with certain properties that is why we are interested in drawing and learning about these plots and superimposing these heat treatment curve on these plots so that we exactly know what phase we will be getting so that we know what property we will be achieving so to conclude today we have discussed about the basic definition of heat treatment we have discussed about the ttd plots and we have discussed about the cct plots and these are very important because when we superimpose the cooling curve on these particular plots we exactly know what phases will be getting and these phases are associated with certain property and we know that we need these property for certain application and what heat treatment can be given to them to achieve these properties so thanks for watching all the best